Matt, what are you going to talk about today? Um, hello, my name is Matt Majidi. Today we're going to be talking about myself, because my world does revolve around myself, because your world should revolve around myself, because I am the greatest challenge that I may ever face, because I can make my breasts move individually. I have my own gravitational pull, and a regular pull. Matt, what's something people would find interesting about you? Oh, that's easy. My biceps. I would be nothing without my biceps, except for like a, a guy that doesn't have arms. Bicep is just like my favorite word. I just love to say it. Bicep. I use bicep all the time. It's my Facebook password, my laptop password, it's my credit card password, it's my four digit code password on my suitcase. My credit card number consists of three things. How much I can bench, my BMI, and how fast I can run. And my balance consists of how many girls I've laid recently. I'm uh, currently broke. Bi is my favorite prefix. I can use the word prefix because I'm an intellectual. Biology, bifocal, bisexual, bionic, bipolar, like my mom, bicycle. Women love me. I'm like a chick magnet. The number one way to pick up a girl, well, there's like a five-step process. So the first step is you got to be like the loudest guy in the room. If you ain't pulling the detention, you're not loud enough. You got to be impressive. The second step is you got to make it like your best effort to try to break something. If it's not broken or you're not bleeding, you're not trying hard enough. Two, you got to pretend to like their music. Women love it when they think you're sensitive and shit. I know I'm 50 pounds too heavy to like this indie crap. It doesn't matter. Four, you gotta whip out your iPod. Five, you gotta show them your highlight film on Huddle. It's important that they know that you might have a chance to play D3 football. Show them your Huddle highlight film four or five times. If they fall asleep, that's a bonus. It means they're thinking about sleep with you. That's symbolism. These are a few words that I like to live by. Coincidentally, they start with the same letters as my first name. The first word is math. It's really important for myself to be able to count all the weight that I'm putting at the bar at the gym. A lot of people can count by twos. I can count by 45s. The second word on the list is attack. You gotta be able to attack anything. You gotta be able to attack your day, your meals, girls. I'm like a lion to the gazelle of a girl. You gotta be able to give a girl an aggressive hug, let them know how much you love them or how fucking desperate you are. The third word on the list is tackle. This word is blended into my DNA. That's what dinosaurs have. What I like about it is coincidentally, it has the same act sound that attack has. That's poetry. We'll get back to that. The fourth word on the list is tackle. Yeah, I got tackled twice in my name. It doesn't matter. I'm the number one tackle on the team. You can't get away from me. After I write out all the morals of my life, you notice all this blank space. You know what that means. Poetry. Roses are red. My Tahoe is green. I'm too big for my clothes. I bust from the seams. I'm also really artistic, as you can see from the self-portrait of my arm. So, Matt, what did you do this weekend? Oh boy, do I got a story for you. Me and my boy Nathan went illegally turfing somebody else's property and may or may not have T-boned his car. I wasn't trying to kill him. I'm just a guy trying to have a good time. Usually I'm a really good driver. You ever heard of America's Most Wanted? I'm like Unionville's Most Wanted. This is like the Fast and the Furious. Six. Nothing says you're a badass like getting pulled over in your mom's van. So Matt, I hear that you party. <laughs> Do I party? Man, they write travesties about the parties I go to. You mean tragedies? Call them traffic lights. What's the difference? I don't know why everyone talks about pre-gaming. None of those pussies play football anyway. I pre-game with like half a gallon of Gatorade, hop in my red Jeep, and I'm off to the races. Cracking up the tunes to the loudest hipster music I know. Uh-oh, 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 uh-oh. So I show up to the party, kicking the door, and rolling like a honey badger on cocaine. <laughs> Swag up to the countertop, take my first shot of liquor, and face down, pass out on the tile, nose in the grout, naked walking five miles down the highway, jumping on top of countertops, just knocking shit all over the floor, practicing high and tight with a bottle of whiskey, bleeding from the nipples, puke all over the back of the couch. I'm like a fucking cat. <sighs> Wake up the next morning and be like, man, I don't remember shit after like that third shot. First, gotta find my shirt. Apparently I'm the only guy who took my shirt off last night. Uh, second, gotta wipe the puke off my shoes. Third, try to involve myself in everybody else's story. Talk about how sick the night was. Bro, that was so sick when I kicked your ass in Mario Kart. Typically I spend a good hour the next morning washing my face. Matt, who are you texting? Oh, it's just my girlfriend. I have one of those now. My wardrobe used to consist of nothing but Unival football attire and the leftover sleeves from my cutoffs. But apparently that's not good enough. My girlfriend thinks I'm 150 pounds. I recently bought four shirts from American Eagle. $380 on four shirts from American Eagle. 
I think the real reason I'll never sleep with the girl is because my bed's actually a total gym. Whatever, at least I got someone to take to the dances now. People say I move my body like I'm fucking Tarzan. I'm down to my undershirt five minutes into the dance. I tie my tie around my head like I'm fucking Rambo. I'm gonna show how good I can shuffle. I can shuffle really good. I can kind of shuffle really good. I, I see it a guy on YouTube doing really good ones. My number one dance move is the spear fingers. My number two is the burning. Consequentially, they don't even play move it like Bernie at the dances. To all my haters, I don't take steroids, orally, but I do take names and prisoners. Books out at the library, sunglasses from Walmart, guitar lessons, phone numbers if I can get them, breast milk. And also take a little bit of shit, but I'm mad with Jitty, so fuck it. I'm fucking beautiful. That's justice.